Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. Here we are looking at the S&P. I want to do a market update. Today is uh, Monday, uh, November 19th. And so if you look at the S&P chart, this is a three month daily chart. And uh, if you look at, uh, we've come from a high of about 29.47 all the way to 26.03. And from here, it's just been chopping around. You can see the five day just crisscrossing over and under the 20. So to get some kind of a sentiment, at least from a technical angle, uh, what I wanted to do in this was uh, I wanted to pick out uh, a drawing tool, the Fibonacci uh, retracement, because we've had a big drop here. You can see from 2947 to 2603. And so this is a perfect case, you perfect use case for Fibonacci. So the way you do it uh, is uh, you pick this point here and then you come down to the low. And once you do that, you'll see that this retracement went up to the 61.8 percent and this is a classic uh, textbook case of a perfect Fibonacci level providing the resistance and so now if you see we bounced off the 23.6 and right now we are exactly at the 38.2 uh, percent and so these are strong Fibonacci levels especially the 38.2 the 50 as well as the 61.8 and today's market, you can see the S&P futures are down. It's still pre-market. It's down about nine and a half points. And since it's right here on the 38.2, so we can expect a battle here for a day or two. Uh, and then we'll get some sentiment as to whichever way it resolves, whether it's to the upside or to the downside. And then, of course, it remains to be seen whether it can pierce through these higher levels. So uh, in this video, I just wanted to cover uh, this Fibonacci levels and uh, apply it to the S&P. And uh, we can see that the Fibonacci levels are working very well. I think all traders are looking at it, even if you see a little bounce over here to the 61.8% uh, level. And then uh, you can see that it goes up to 61.8 and uh, bounces off the 23.6 and it's right here at the 38.2. So it's a classic uh, application of the Fibonacci retracement level. So this is the level we need to watch and see which way it resolves over the next few days, this week perhaps. And then we'll get a better sentiment of what's happening with the S&P. Thanks.